124 laps, it's Jimmy John Jones first, driving in the Dodge, holding down second place in a Plymouth, it's Tommy Callahan, and there's the green flag, and we're back to racing. So far, tire wear has not been a problem, but this race is far from over. All during this race, the pace has been terrific. Everyone after the big one. Watch it, the 63 car sliding and ramming into the ball. Well, Callahan still driving all out to try and overtake the leader, Jimmy John Jones. The speeds today have reached over 165 miles an hour. On the back straightaway, they've got Callahan boxed in. He's holding down second place, and he wants that lead. Moving down on the inside, out of the box, and after the leader. Both of these drivers are flat out. Jack McFarlane in the board. Callahan driving a smooth race up to now. Seems to be having trouble handling. He's weaving back and forth on the track. Keep your eye on the 99 car. Well, here's the standings at the end of 325 miles. Car number 26, Jimmy John Jones, the leader. Callahan charging down to the inside. Up the rear of car number 26, Jimmy John Jones. The car is in play. And hit by Manny Brown in car number 17. The fire crews are rolling. It looks like a bad one from here. Ranger. Over the track. Bring him in. What? I said bring Callahan in. Okay, okay, Mr. Reese. Bring him in. Here he comes. He got the signal and will be in on the next lap. Well, it's a tough break for Callahan, holding down that second place all during the race, then taking over the lead on the crash of Jimmy John Jones. Here he comes, down on the apron and into the pit. Well, the feeling up here in the tower that maybe Callahan... Why the hell did you pull me in? I'm not due yet. You're overdue. You're out of the race. Pack it in. What are you talking about? Car number six on the south turn. It's the last time you'll pull that on any track that we operate. You're suspended. Oh, what? Let's talk after I witness. Let's go! You heard what I said. Get out of this car and get off the track. All right, forget it, guys. Suppose you tell me now what it was I did. You've been building up to it in your last few races. Don't think we haven't been watching you. I should have pulled you out a long time ago for charging too hard. That's what it's about, Reese. No, it is. The ticket we give you isn't a license for murder. What murder? Jimmy John Jones. Well, if you're looking for him, you're looking in the wrong direction. He's over there. As we come down into the final 100 miles, this is where we'll have something to do with When did it happen? Will they hold in the end? You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Your exit. You aren't even close to Knock it off, Callahan. Hey, uh, there's 
There's some nice radios you got there. Thanks. Mac Lunsford around? Yeah, yeah, he's in the office. Hey, Mac, somebody wants to talk to you. Now, Callahan! <laughs> oh, I... Callahan? Tommy Callahan. I want you to meet Annie Blaine. The pleasure's all mine, miss. Hello, Mac. Uh, Harry. Oh, Callahan, I want you to meet Harry Weiss. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, hey, and you guys want to meet Tommy Callahan? Forget it. But it looks like the boys don't want to get their hands dirty. Take it easy, Harry. It's all right, Mac. Oh, what's the matter, big man? There's all your guts out there on the track. Hey, will you look at that? Now, that's what I call wheels. A little different from that junkie you when you first started driving. <laughs> I've seen cars before, Mac. Hey, did he tell you I started him off in the business? He was nothing but a punk kid, but even then he had the making. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? How long you plan to stay? Stop it, Mac. You know why I'm here. Yeah, I can guess. Suspend it as an independent. The only way I can drive is if some well-known promoter sponsors me for reinstatement and hires me to drive for him. And you fit the bill. Me? I'm just a small-time day track operator. I only run modifieds here. Look, the NASCAR officials know you and trust you. And you run super stocks at Darlington. Besides, uh, you're about the only one I know who'll give me a job. Two things. Number one, if I hire you, every one of my boys will quit. Now, you saw them. They don't want any part of you. How would I bill it? A one-car race? And number two, and what's more important, I saw what happened at Daytona. And it didn't come as any shock to me. I saw the same thing happen three years ago, only I was too stupid to realize what it was. Tommy, there's something wrong with you. Sometimes you don't know what you're doing. I can't hire you. I'm afraid. Mac, that I'll kill somebody? No, that you'll kill yourself. Mac, what am I supposed to do? Get a job slinging hash, tending bar? I'm a driver. So long, Mac. Hey, hey, Tony! Let me buy you a drink or a steak. Just for old time's sake. Other places, Mexico, Europe, you could get a ride. Yeah, on some backwater bootleg track. They won't let me drive in any big time, Annie. Just let me do my own thinking, will you? Don't crowd me, I don't like it. I was only trying to make you feel better. I'm sorry, Annie, I didn't mean I'd jump down your throat. If I were your wife, I'd beam you with a rolling pin. But since I'm only your girl, I guess I'll have to put up with it. Would you care to try for a rolling pin? Not this year. See, I told you a million times, you need more speed on the down run. How'd you like to spend ten bucks and buy me a car that'll do it? All right, what's the excuse? Oh, shut up! What did I do? 
Fran. Now I tell you again, you need more speed on the down run. That has nothing to do with it. Oh, no? Then why did you land that car upside down? What do you think caused it? Come on, tell me your opinion. It's simple. The motor in that car is older than you are. You have to buy a new engine. When I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. In case you haven't heard, the principle of an internal combustion engine is combustion. Four of the cylinders in that clunker are missing, and what's left are just knocking themselves silly. Oh, honey, baby, I love you. You're my only daughter. Now, do you think I would jeopardize you? Believe me, baby, those cylinders are the perfect cylinders for that engine. And that engine is the perfect engine for that car. And that car is the perfect car for the stunt that you do. And besides, new engines cost money. Uh-huh. That's the real reason, the money. Tell me, Father dear, what's more important to you, the money or my life? Father, you have to think about it. Oh, baby, I'm just teasing you. Is that the boss? Uh-huh. The one with the horn where his mouth should be. <laughs> Look, this is high-class work, boy. This is not your chicken racing down the street or dragging with your buddies and Papa's hand-me-down car. This, hey, Leroy, give him a poem about that. That might straighten him out. Oh, yeah. Them who learned in Pappy's truck and dreamed of winning fame, uh, them want to drive to earn a buck. Should rather start in Spain. <laughs> End up in tragedy and pain. Leroy, you're the funniest driver I ever met. Yes, Leroy, you're a million laughs. I wanted to congratulate Look, uh, I don't want to interrupt you guys. Uh, gentlemen, uh, what's the boss's name? The boss is Pete Madsen. Did you ever drive before? Yeah. Ooh-wee! Don't he think he's something? Now, honey, will you try it just once more and do it my way? For dear old dad. I told you, I'm not getting in that car until you buy me a new engine. But she don't need a new engine. All she needs is a longer head start. All she needs is a longer head start. Who are you? He has a point. He has a point? Beat it. She needs a longer run. Let her take off a second or two before the other car. It'll end up the same and it will look harder. Yeah. Yeah, what? Who is he? It don't matter. He's right. Who are you? I'm looking for a job. Driving or talking? Driving. You done any? Racing. Stockers. Well, that's a lot different. You know, driving for thrills takes a real expert. I can handle a car. No matter what it's doing? No matter what it's doing. Look, if you really want to do that stunt, don't use the rollover ramp. Let him go up the up ramp, through the fire ring, hit nose down, and roll end over end. Hey, that's my daughter driving that car. You think I would jeopardize her? I'll show you. Okay. It's your neck. Set up one ramp. And never mind the fire ring. It costs money. Put two cars in front of the ramp and we'll see. I'm Francie Madsen. Are you trying to put me out of a job? No. Just trying to get one for myself. I'm Tommy Callahan. Can I borrow a skid lid? Sure. Over there. Thanks. Hey, Callahan, huh? Tommy? That's what he said. Hey, have you seen a guy with a... Yeah, it's uh, over there, Sugar. He wants to be a driver, doesn't he? He is a driver, honey. One of the best. Not too bad. About the job, it wouldn't pay much. How much? Let's talk about it later. Then why don't you get a room in town, freshen up, and then meet me at Turk's Bar and Grill. I'll let you buy me dinner. You're very kind. You want the job, you buy the dinner, right? Incidentally, Callahan, although the prices may be a little higher, make sure you check into the Hastings Motel. Why? I own it. Hey, uh... Yeah, that was nice handling. Thanks. I'm Eddie Sands. Are you the Tommy Callahan I'm thinking of, stock racing? Uh-huh. I'm sure I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. 
See you around. Take care of that for me, will you? Sure. You ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, that was really terrific what you did out there. Thanks. Corn's in, moon's down, time to hold ourselves to town. Right. Oh, no, wait a minute. Um, whose turn is it? Oh, it's oh, my. my turn. Oh, it's, it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I want to. Clear the See? Hey, welcome, welcome to Turks. Yeah, I thought he left town. He has a right to stay where he wants, I guess. <laughs> Does he now? Hey, 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 uh, and nobody told you you could hang around decent people, Callahan. Hey, Turk, you know who you just let in? He's the guy who killed old Jimmy John Jones. Didn't you kill her? I said, didn't you kill her? This is one of my customers, Harry. Now, now you leave him be. I'll leave him be. You're putting me off. Hey, does anybody here want to let this man dirty up a nice, clean place like Turks? Are you drunk? <laughs> the killer wants to know if I'm drunk. Well, I am sober, Mr. Callahan, so why don't you... <laughs> Enough. As a matter of fact, it's more than enough. Sh sh shall I throw him out? Throw Callahan out? What are you crazy? That's like throwing away money. Now take it easy, kid. Come on, let's sit down and talk this over, huh? Sorry about all that mess. <laughs> That's okay. A little fun with the boys, you know. <laughs> sure. Come on, come on. Now, Turk, you take good care of Callahan here. He's gonna be working for me. Everybody does. Beer all right for everybody? I'm buying. Yeah, just fine. Uh, scotch on the rocks. And I'll have beer all around. This beef you had with Harry Wise was about killing Jimmy John Jones, wasn't it? Well, now you know, too. Does that make a difference? Only means you'll be working a little cheaper. Before good old dad gets into high finance and skins Callahan, let's dance and avoid the embarrassment. Callahan, if you have any gold fillings, hang on to them. Hey, Mac. Hey, uh, what about the race? You gonna let me drive in the next one? Eddie, you're okay in a setup stunt, but races aren't rehearsed. They just run. Oh, come on, Mac. Just once. I just want to try it. You know, get the feel of it. Okay. I'll think it over. What could be so tough about racing? Pester him long enough and you might find out. You know, Annie's a pretty girl. Well, oh, naturally. Are you going to get yourself one like that when you become a big-time driver? 
big time. I just want to try it once. You're supposed to say that you want only me not talk about driving. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, hey, you're not sore, are you? No, of course not. Eddie, sometimes I think you should be dating an eight-cylinder engine. Honey, we're not going to stay in this one-horse town very long, are we? As long as we have to. She said Mac turned her down. Well, hang around. I think we should just keep moving. Somebody someplace will take a chance on you. Yeah, but I want Mac to take a chance on me. <laughs> Some friend. Damn good friend, Annie. Don't knock him. He knows. About you blacking now? Yeah. No wonder he won't take a chance on you. Why'd you tell him? I didn't have to tell him. He just knew. Well, I think it's dumb. I just don't see falling on your head and smashing up cars in a thrill circus as a career for you. No. No. You're the guy who moves them faster and trickier than anybody else. Around and around. Faster and faster and faster until I want to holler or scream or something. Is that so? Yes, that's so. And then after the race, the parties and the laughs, every day just one big blast. I didn't even know you then. Well, you know me now. And that's the way I want to be for us. I get used to Offered you was a ride north. That'll teach me. Has it been so bad? Okay, bring Callahan's car. Good. Now keep the track clear. Get those ramps out of the way. Good morning. Hey, good morning, son. Why are the cars in the track? I thought you wanted to run through. Oh, Eddie is doing the nose dive. I got something bigger in mind for you. Francie, come on over here. Well, I thought last night when we talked I was being hired to do the nosedive. I told you, forget about it. I got something bigger and better ball planned for you. I was up all night thinking about this. Now, here I got a star on my hands. Now, a star is a star is a star. So, I got to use that star, right? Now, there ain't nobody going to pay their good money to see a star doing something that anybody could do. But everybody will pay their good money to see something special that only a star can do. You follow me? No. <laughs> see? That's what you're a star at. <laughs> Look, you're not for turning them over. You're for pushing them around and around. Good morning. Hi. Uh, <laughs> would you mind interpreting for me? Your father's spitting words like a busted fuel pump, and I'm getting drowned in the gas. Well, we're staging a race. You what? Every move is planned. I already spoke to Dom and Leroy about it. See? You start out behind. Dom and Leroy are in front of you. Now, they got you blocked. You cut in on the inside, moving real fast. Now, Francie's ahead of you. You pick up speed. You're trying to catch her. She blocks you out. You get mad. You make your move on the south turn. By now, you and Francie have practically lapped Dom and Leroy, right? Now, you're all bunched up. You're boxed in. Now, will you wait until you string out? No. You make your move right now. And as you go shooting through, you swipe Francie, knocking her off the track, and you go on to win. How do you like it? I don't, Pete. <laughs> Why not? That's the excitement the fans want to see. It's too dangerous for Francie. That's how Jimmy John died. But he didn't know it was coming. I do. Sure, and she'll be ready for it. Hey, believe me, ain't nobody spins out better than my Francie. <laughs> hey, come on, kids. Let's try it, huh? Come on, Francie. Francie, come on. Come on. Let's... Harry, give him a start. Fran? Yeah? Nothing. You be careful. Hey, what's this? Spent all night dreaming it up. I'll bet. Now, 
I'm sorry I'm late. I uh, had to see Mac Lunsford. What's going on? plan on a mud bath, that's all. Like you maniac, you could have killed her! Eddie! What? Stay out of this. Eddie, listen for a second, will you? It was just an act, Eddie. Just an act. An act. Hey, punch me right here, would you? Nobody wins, babe. It's just a show. I know it's a show, but sometimes they could win. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I never saw anything more exciting in my whole life. Yeah, except for the goof I pulled at the end. Goof? What goof? That's how it's going to end from now on. What? Sure. Francie gets a face full of mud, and you get a mouth full of knuckles. Hey, you could fight back a little bit just to make it look good. It'll build up to a great grudge match race between you and Eddie. Oh, come on, Pete. No, I'll be the Princess of Mud's villain. You took and fight over me. <laughs> and we could dress up that match race a little bit. You know, have a few crashes, some fires. Hey, what else will the fans come to see? Hey, it's okay with me if it's okay with him. Well, looks like I'm outvoted. I want to get cleaned up. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Would you want to see the new posters I'm having printed? You're my new star. What are you kidding, Pete? I don't think that's funny. What's that supposed to be funny? You're supposed to sell tickets. Not out of my hide reputation, you don't. Now, look, you came to me for a job, right? So you're gonna be useful to me, right? Now, you drive as Killer Callahan, you're useful. You don't wanna be useful, you don't drive, right? Right. I don't drive. Thanks for the almost chance, Pete. I don't believe it. He quit. Isn't that too bad? Pete Madsen, expert skinner and con artist, stopped in his tracks by a proud man. Go ahead, Francie. Have fun. But I'm gonna enjoy this, too. Honey, I found me a worthy opponent. You, uh, you building a house? No, a skyscraper. Oh. Beer. Now, Pete, what can I offer him? 
Uh, girls? Ah, he brought his own. How about money? Yeah, money. How about it, Callahan? What if I give you some more money? Grab it, kid. It'll make history. I don't have a price. I'm sure you do. Terry, you know why Callahan's hanging around here, don't you? Sure. He loves the climate, and he wants to drive for Mac. Really? Hmm. Uh, Terry, uh, who owns Mac's operation? You do, oh, great God of owning everything. You own it. You're putting me on. Uh-uh. I bought in last year. I happen to be the major stockholder and uh, the not-so-silent partner. Poor Mac. Why, he's got a good deal. He does the work, I foot the bills, and we split the profits. So you see, kid, I own something you want. I own your only chance to get back into racing. Now, you not only need Max, okay, you need mine, too. And me? I can go either way. <laughs> hey, Callahan, why don't we make a deal, huh? You drive for me, and when Mac gets ready to go to Darlington with the team for the big 500, you get my vote. Come on, Callahan. What's it gonna hurt? Um, um. I'd like to tell you to go to hell, Pete. But I can't. You mean we have a deal? Yeah, we have a deal. See you in the morning, killer. That kid's gonna really make Mac look good at Darlington. Darlington? He ain't gonna drive at Darlington. But, Pete, you promised the kid you'd vote for him. I also voted for Barry Goldwater. I heard that uh, you were still with us. Yeah, I'll be on a while. Sam, Sam. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. I, um, I just uh, finished talking with uh, Mac Lunch, but... Oh, yeah, how is Mac? Oh, he's fine. He uh, says hello. <laughs> uh, be ready? Oh, uh, no, thanks. I, uh, I've been uh, after him uh, to let me drive. Makes two of us, Eddie. <laughs> uh, I told him that uh, you were training me. That's so? Uh, he, he was uh, very impressed. Well, maybe if we have some time, I will. And if you work out on the track a little bit, maybe I'll let you drive. <laughs> Yeah, well, he uh, he already uh, thinks that uh, I've uh, worked out. <laughs> I'm uh, driving Sunday. You what? Uh, Sunday. Eddie, you're gonna mess up that race. Not if you help me. Why should I? Would you believe I've got more guts than brains? this time and get into your drift faster. Don't wait till you start to skid or you'll spin out. Put it on the slot and pour it on. Let's go. I hope he'll be all right. I sure hate to see him make a fool of himself. Don't worry. He's got a good teacher. 
the best. Yeah, so I've heard. Listen to that noise. Howl, baby, howl! Do me a favor. Stay away from Callahan. That was very nice. Hi. Pop and Mac are in the patio. Wait for me here, will you? Okay. Anything I can do to help? Oh, there's not much left, thanks. And the cost of modification is getting too high. When you race at Darlington, you gotta go first class to win. It costs too much. We'll lose. I'll pay it. <laughs> so this is where the party is. Oh, Tommy, I, I wanna talk to you. I'll be inside. What's up, Mac? Tommy, I know I've been rough on you, but I want to ask you to do me a favor. <sighs> Name it, Mac. You remember that guy, Harry Weiss, the guy you belted in the mouth the first night you arrived? Uh-huh. He's going to be in the race with Eddie tomorrow. And so are all his boys. And they don't like you. I'm hip. I heard them talking. They're going to take it out on Eddie. You going to be in his pit? Yeah. Don't worry, Mac. I'll take care of him. Okay. Sure, it's great. What do you think? When I give a party, I give a big. Before it started, eh? Boy, it's the only one I'll have! Yeah. <laughs> Don't 
you want to win? Oh, sure I do, but it's the only chance I'll have. Fat chance. <laughs> Come on. Wealth before beauty. All right, babe. Oh, do you know how to do this? Are you kidding? I still dip when I dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pete. You ask for it. Yes, I did. <laughs> Come on and dance with Andy. I'll have to warm up to it. Oh. Francie's helping serve. Why don't you give our hero a break? Mm. All right, Mr. Ancient. I will. Watch me make him blow a gasket. That's <laughs> really good. Callahan would do better. Well, what are you, are you uh, his mother or something? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the one you 
you've been waiting for, the 25 lap main event for the early model stock car. They're lined up and ready. There's the green flag and here it is. Into the first turn, we have a new driver, Eddie Sands, driving for the first time in stock car. Eddie came up from the Madsen Thrill Circus, a former stunt driver. Keep your eye on that 67 car. First time out and anything can happen. To the wall. Okay, back there on the track. Eddie Sands is really riding hard over these drivers. He's after that lead and following right on his tail, Leroy Johnson. There's a car into the wall there in the south turn, and Eddie Sands is heading for the pits to take advantage of that yellow flag. I don't know what those guys are trying to do out there. They're not trying to win, they're just trying to hold me back. Shut up and listen. Okay. Car number 27 also in the if I knew, I could be a champion driver. Get back into that box and hang tight. Fishtail a little to show him it's not easy to scare you. The hell it isn't! You think you can do it? I'll do it. Okay. Get this baby out of here! Get out! Move it out! Coming back out onto the track and he's there. Well, there's the green flag and we're back to racing. Look at Eddie Sands go and run on the bumper of the 78 car and pushing, going into that south turn. Look at Sands cutting way down low. Not yet! Not yet! This is one of the roughest driving I've ever seen in a long time. Going into the back shoot, Sands around the outside. Right move at the wrong time. Hold him off. Eddie Sands into that south turn. That was a Callahan trick. I thought all you did was going to check him out. Then they're going to give him the fine points, too. I had to, Mac. You saw the box they had him in? He could have killed him. Look, Mac, I didn't tell him to bounce him out. Drivers. I don't know why we even make rules. All right, here he comes, pouring it on. Sands still holding on. Sure of himself now. Out of that north turn, Sands, very cocky, starting to lead on the second place car of Mickey's side. Hey, here in the main street, we have five cars. Stacks it up all over the racetrack. All right, Sands now in the clear. And going away, there's a white flag and one more left to go. Let's follow him all the way around. Thanks a lot, fellas. You miss it all, don't you? Uh-huh. You're not a wild driver, Tommy. Why'd you lose your license? Don't do that. Do what? Turn off. Won't help me to cry about it. Well, it might do some good just to talk about it. Okay, doctor, I'll tell you all about it. Maybe you'll give me a little pill or some good advice or something. How do you know I won't? Well, because you won't even know what I'm talking about. I blacked out. I blacked out and didn't even know what was happening, except when I came to, I was out in front. And somebody got killed along the way. Just like that, you blacked out? It happened before, but never that bad. Oh, my... But you've been driving for years. Maybe that's it. Uh, bigger races, better and tougher competition. I guess the pressure got to me. What do you prescribe, Doc? I don't know. I do. Let's have a Coke. You won the race today. It was really great. Really yeah. great. Greatest thing I ever Thank saw. You. Thank you. I'll be in the stands waiting for you to win, Eddie. All right, just for you, baby. Just for you. <laughs> hey, Callahan, come on over here. Come on, I owe you a dinner. Sorry, Eddie, I don't feel like drinking my dinner tonight. Ah, oh, come on. Aren't you going to help me celebrate my win? Did we do that last night? Yeah, but tonight's different. Tonight? 
<laughs> I'm a winner. Come on, Tommy, let's live it up. Eddie, you better take it easy. You almost didn't finish. I did everything you wanted me to do. I even got the flag. You had Leroy and Harry Wise in real trouble. That's what I mean. I did what you wanted me to do. No. I wanted you to beat them, but not knock them out of the race. Nobody was hurt. No, not this time. In case you hadn't thought about it. The idea is to get around the track faster. Not eliminate your competition. You know something? I think it's getting under his skin that I was a winner. And he wasn't even driving. Eddie. Well, if you want to be a deadhead, you go right ahead and be one. Francie and I, we're going back to the bar. So we can have a little fun over there. Would you like to drink Daddy Sands? The latest track monster I created? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Madsen brings you his greatest and most exciting thrill show. Death-defying, crashing cars and the spectacular Slide for Life. Down on the track and ready to go for the Slide for Life, Leon Blender along with his driver, Pat Patterson, and here they go. One guy that knows what it feels like to be on the hot seat. Okay, out of the south turn, coming down to crash through the wall, head on is Les Richter. And now the very spectacular rollover contest. And there's your winner. And now the exciting and one of the hardest stunts to undertake the wheel stand. And they will attempt to drive all the way around the track on two wheels. And the boys report to me that this is the only stunt where they get 50% less tire wear. Remember, there's no gimmicks, no shifting weights. This is driver skill only. How about that? And your attention to the infield, the nosedive is underway. And here it is, the high-speed and perfectly timed crossover. And for our final event of the thrill show, the death-defying high-speed dive, the T-Bow. Don't go away, here's the one we've been waiting for, the grudge race between Killer Callahan, driving car number 14, and the new cocky driver, Eddie Sands, in car number 44. Can you hear me, Eddie? That clears the bell. How do I come across? Loud and clear. Let's get going. Here they come onto the track. They're coming down. Here's the green flag. And we're underway, heading for the south turn side by side. It's Eddie Sands holding onto that low groove. Killer Callahan on the outside. Callahan takes the lead. Sands is in like it's pouring on. Ready, the hero? Yeah. Is after the teacher. Ready for the first pass? Yep. Sands is Here I come. For the bumper. Here's the pass. No going to finish. And Eddie Sands goes back into the lead. Well, race fans, we're seeing one here today. Sam's learning his lesson very well. <laughs> How is that old great leader? Not bad. Not bad at all. Why, they really make it look good, huh? With those transmitters going, if anybody turns on a portable radio, they'll string you up. Only a little. He's the old master when it comes to racing. Remember to try this track with my eyes closed. Sure okay. you can. Yeah. Put my eyes closed. Down the back straightaway. And my radio off. And I'll talk to you later, Big Daddy. Eddie. Eddie. Both of these drivers pulling out all the stops. You need the one good try. Are you out of your mind? We have to coordinate. Eddie. Sands getting his first taste of speed has gone over bar to try and teach the teacher. Callahan steadies, Sands using all of the track. It's Callahan back into the lead. Keep 
keep it up and I'll poke you in the eye. Oh, it wasn't what you thought. No. As they go into the back stretch, Sands giving it all he's got. Callahan still right in there. All right, out into the straight and into the north turn. Callahan has the outside. There's the long way around, and here comes Sands. Look out, Sands running into the north. He starts to spin. He's going, he's going up and over, and upside down. The car is on its top end, burst into flames. Here comes the driver, Tommy Callahan. Out of the back of the car. That gas tank could go at any time. The flagmen are running over to take care of Callahan. Hey, it looks like he's okay. He's not here. I know. I wanted to see you. Drink? No, thanks. What did you want to see me about? Well, it's kind of hard to just come right out and say it. Try. Exactly how much does Callahan mean to you? I mean, is it temporary or what? You flipped for him, haven't you? Yes. I'm really sorry, Annie, because... We've been friends, and I don't want to ruin that. Well, I thought we could talk about it like two adults. That's damn nice of you. Oh, sure. You're new, and you're pretty cute. But you're not what he needs. I am. Annie, you've got a hell of a lot of guts. You know that. You've done nothing but make cow eyes at my boy ever since we got here. And the topper is that you... You come to talk to me like I'm some sort of a big sister. What do you want? My blessings? I'm sorry I bothered you. You didn't bother me, kid. We get track traps wherever we go. The little girl, he's mine. And that's the way it's going to stay. You're scared, aren't you? And I don't blame you because I guess I'd be scared too. I want him, Annie. And I have a feeling he wants me. He wants you? You've got to be kidding. I'll tell you what he wants. It's out there on that track. He wants to race. Why, the only reason he went back to work for your old man was because he was promised another crack at it. Do you know what you are to Callahan? Insurance. Yeah, that's right, insurance. He wants to make damn sure that if your father forgets, you'll be there to remind him. Pop never told me how he got Tommy back. Makes you feel like a damn fool, doesn't it? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Where did you come from? Oh, come on, that's enough. Beat it, mister. I'm having myself a little ride. You're gonna have a ride, lady, in an ambulance. So what? It's my business, isn't it? Now get out of here, insurance man. Go away. Crazy broad, what's got into you? That's right, I'm a crazy broad. But you don't care as long as Pete's my father. Your father, a guy who makes his daughter stand on her head, and a daughter who does it. You're both nuts. Oh, yeah? Well, I'd rather stand on my head in a car than on my feet in a kitchen doing dishes. And I'd like to see him try and stop me. And I'd like to see you try and stop me either, too. I'd 
kiss your silly looking face if you didn't smell like a brewery. Tell me that story. I've tried to tell you that story. Six or seven times. I tried to, but you don't listen. Will you listen? Will you listen? All right. Listen. The guy is on the outside, right? He gets thrown on the wood drift. He has got to get on top of the other car. On right? top of the other car? That's silly. Why would he want to do that? Aren't you Tommy Callahan, the famous race driver? Hello, honey. Sit down. Me sit down with you? Golly, wait until I tell the folks back home. Why didn't you pick me up at the motel? I thought I was your girl. Was I wrong? Not now, Annie. I got a lot of things to think about. Well, so do I. And we're going to talk about it right now. Not a call, nothing. You just let me sit there. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Tommy, what's wrong with us? Ever since we got here, it's been like Dullsville. All I ever guaranteed you was a ride north. I didn't say I would provide fun and games all the time. Life is getting too dull for you. Maybe you better find somebody else. All right. Maybe I will. Hey, gang. Need a fourth for hopscotch? couldn't stay off the track any longer, not even to get your hot racing tips. Uh, you know, my brother and I built one of those once when we were kids. Had a scrap metal and an old outboard motor. Did it run? Sure, it ran. You have mustard in your mouth. Mm. And then from go-karts, you went to racing cars? Correct. Here's Pitt. Mm, what about your brother? Does he still race? He died when he was a kid. Accident. I blacked out. You blacked out? The only thing is, uh, I don't remember much about it. Well, I've watched you pretty close the last couple of times, and it only seems to happen when you get boxed in. Does that make any sense at all? No. No sense at all. Maybe we're wasting our time. Well, a lot of people would be very sad if anything happened to you. Oh, yeah? Name me one. Me? Thank you, Brian. Tommy, do me a favor. The next time it starts to happen, try hard to think about what's going on. Try extra hard. I do try. But I never remember afterwards. I feel like some kind of kook. Nicest kook I ever met. Book to uh, announce Darlington? Right. If you're going down, come on up in the press box. You can see the race better from there. I don't plan to watch it. I plan to drive it. Well, look who's here. Eddie Sands himself. What'll it be, Eddie? Daytona on white or the Darlington special on whole wheat? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Callahan. Hey, what are you doing this afternoon? Not much. Why? Uh, how'd you like to be my pit boss again? It's not exactly what I like to be known for. What's up? Oh, some of the guys at Max are getting up a race. You know, a hundred bucks a driver, when it takes all. It's an illegal race. Yeah, but Max's not saying anything. Huh? so long as the race is illegal, and I'm an illegal driver, no reason why I shouldn't be there in a car. Let's drive a little, kid. You know, I got a feeling I just lost myself a hundred bucks. Hey, I'm gonna send myself a race. Hey, and I gotta mind the store. Hey, phone me. You guys are all doing this against my wishes. If word of this leaks out, I'm gonna swear you stole the keys to the track and Pete's cars all by yourself, which you practically did anyway. All right, all right, Mac, you said it. Now, will you back off and let us race? Come on, let's get all the money in. All right, here you go. Here, here, here. here go. Where's Eddie, huh? He's coming now. Here's my hundred dollars. Uh, why, sure, Mr. Callahan. Be the easiest dough I ever earned. Just give your money to old Mac here. Come on, guys, let's go. All right. Yeah, Mac. 
I don't recommend this for you. It's the only way I can try out for you, Mac, before you go to Darlington. I already have pizza okay. What pizza okay? Didn't he tell you? He's agreed for me to go to Darlington as one of your drivers. Pete didn't tell me anything. Where is he, Mac? In the booth. You tell him to stay put. I want to see him right after this. I want to see him right now. Pete, I want to talk to you. Later, later. All right, Turk, here it is. Coming down out of the turn, here they are. Down to the starter. This is going to be a fast one, and we're underway. Okay. No more bets down. They started. No more bets. Going into the first turn, it's Leroy. Right behind him, Eddie. Then Callahan. Then Wise. Boy, Turk, is he moving. Yeah, yay, yeah, Sandy. Go! all the way back, all over the track. Tommy, please, don't. Hey, Wise is getting dirty. He spun him out. That's Leroy. Man, that's me. He's after that dough. With two laps to go, it's Wise. It's Callahan. No, he's a Wise. No, he's a wise. No, he's a wise. with me what have i got to celebrate Do i take it you have more than a mild interest in that boy callahan what's not to love pete you ready to talk now sure what about did you talk to callahan about driving at darlington hey how could i talk about that don't fool with me pete we know each other too long i made no promises all i said was maybe that stinks even for you, Pete. 
You said yourself he shouldn't drive. That was before. He's pretty good at the wheel now. Mac, we're businessmen. I make a bundle off of that kid. Pete, he drives at Darlington. You gonna let this break up our partnership? If that's the way you want it. But, Mag, without me, what are you gonna do for expense money? I mean, what are you and the boys gonna eat? Where are you gonna sleep? Street corners don't make good bedrooms. If we have to sleep in cars and eat beans, he drives from here at Darlington. What kind of person is that? Oh, yeah. Two tips for me. He's out at 9 30 every night. You, got tips you, be out of this. you dumped me, Callahan. I wish I could say I did, Harry. It was your own mistake. But you all saw what he did. What I saw is gonna make me nervous driving with you around, Harry. Listen, I think you got off easy. If it was me, I would have killed you. Oh, come on, come on. What's the matter with you guys? Well, it's him! Well, Callahan, he's the one. Harry, you better pack your stuff and go. Cause these good old boys don't want no more. Well, you heard the man. We don't drive with you anymore. You did this to me, Callahan. No, Harry. You did it to yourself. Chase, he's going to the house. No, come on. Did you see me, baby? Did you see me take those guys? Oh, sure, Eddie. You were <laughs> great. Just great. Tommy, I just talked to Pete. You've been double-crossed. Where is he? Doesn't matter now. We just dissolved our partnership. It's up to me now who says yes or no. Tommy, you've been having any of your old trouble? Not lately. Can you guarantee it won't come back? Can anybody, Mac? No. All right, Tommy, you want in, you're in. That's all right. Look, I can put you in the race, but after that, it's up to you. Thanks, Mac. Now, look, I've sunk every dime I have in those three new cars. Why don't you and I see if we can con an old friend out of his charge, huh? Let's... You certainly aren't talking up tonight, aren't you? Hmm? Well, good night, Eddie. You know, that was the quietest dinner I ever had. Well, there wasn't much to talk about. You'd have plenty to say if I was Callahan, wouldn't you? Eddie, don't act like a baby. Well, maybe I ought to start acting like a grown man. <laughs> when I want to kiss you, you kiss back, you hear? <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit better. Hey, don't go in yet. Why don't you come over to my place, huh? Eddie, get out of here. Hey, what's the matter with you? How long do you think I keep on playing kid games, huh? Now, be a real woman. You wouldn't know a woman if you fell over one. Now, get out of here. I guess you wouldn't fight so hard if I were Callahan, huh? You know, you're no different than any other track trip. Francie? Yes, Pop? Is that Eddie out there? Yeah. I never knew him to leave so early before. Did you have a fight? Kind of. Come here. Sit down. A blind man could tell what's going on. Yeah, I guess so. Now, how does Callahan feel about this? I don't know. We haven't really talked about it. Why not? I think he's got Darlington on his mind. So what? Pop, we just don't understand. A girl doesn't move in when she doesn't know for sure she's wanted. Oh, well, I don't see why not. At least to find out. Maybe you don't want him enough. Oh, I do. 
I want him so much I ache. Then go after him, Fran. Never mind what's done or isn't done. You go after him. Suppose he doesn't want me. I'll fire him. Pop. Yeah? What's your angle? Angle? Huh? What angle? What does it mean to you in dollars and cents? Dollars and cents? What are you talking about? Franny, I love you. What should this mean to me in dollars and cents? Well, you know how you are. Oh, baby, you don't even know your own father. Sure, I have a few angles ready to use, but that's my hobby. Like some guys play golf, play cards. I play people. That's my fun. Fran, well, your happiness is at stake. It's not fun anymore. Look, baby, you want Callahan? You go after Callahan. No angles. somebody or another for the race. You'd like to be up there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Get the gap in those plugs, will you? Cranker, kick the pressure gauge. Hi there, hero. That was quite a parade. Everything but the ticker tape. Yeah, I guess. We've got to win this one, you know. You promised me a taste of the big time, remember? Yep, I remember. I'm going to hold you to it. I got a feeling that if you get back on your way again, little old Lanny gets dumped on the side of the road. I don't want that, Tommy. Annie, you always start something when I need police, don't you? What did I do? Nothing, Annie. Nothing. Eddie, are you going to walk this race? I just wish we could start it. 500 miles is a long grind, Eddie. You better rest. You remember what I said? Yeah, let Callahan get out front and I hang back and block anybody else. Well, make sure you keep it in mind that you won't drive for me a second time. Eddie, don't blow any tires. Well, race fans, we're only moments away from the start of the Darlington Southern 500. Activity all through the morning over in the pits. It's been hustle, hustle. All right, the cars are coming out of the turn and heading for the starting line. Jack Boyer will set the pace in car number four. All right, heading into turn number one, Jack Boyer leads the way. Second place going to Roy Hard. The third spot to Bob Russo, dragging the entry from Riverside. Tough, hard miles to go. Weeks of hard work. Time and money has gone into the cars in preparation for this race. Time spent on tire testing, proper handling of the car. Many, many hours spent on the drawing board trying for more safety for these drivers. Tuning the motors to a fine edge to get one more mile. Look out here. Watching it turn number one. Up on the high groove, the 81 car is starting to slide. In the race, makes it by. As he slides down across the track, down under the apron, blowing a tire. And the driver is okay. Okay, here's the rundown. Jack Boyer still holds the lead here in car number four. The second place car, driven by Roy Hard, has been drafting the leader for the last ten laps. Bob Russo, who held out the third spot, has started to slow down. From here, it looks like tire chunking. This will mean a pit stop for the entry from Riverside, California. Down in the straightaway, the 26 car loses it, trying it into the wall. Eddie Sands, a former stunt driver, now running the Grand National Circuit, holding down the fifth position. And Tommy Callahan is in this race, trying for reinstatement, has moved up to fourth spot. When the car of Bob Russo went into the pits, 
Callahan is being watched very close by the officials today. Hold it, Bud Smith, clear out of Jake, sliding up into the rail, taking part of it with him. Leroy Johnson closing fast on Dom. Too fast, too fast, there's no place to go. He's lost us clear over the wall. In a ball of flame. Ah, Leroy! And the car of Dom, the number 36 car, starting to slow down. This could be a pit stop. All cars will hold their positions. We're under the yellow line. Yes, the 36 car heading to the pits fast, very fast. Well, fans, this is one of the worst fires I've ever seen here at the Southern 500. Down in the pits. What the hell are you doing? Down! Down! It's just an act, isn't it? These drivers will do anything to help a friend. Two pit members are holding him. He's going right in after the fire. Let me go! I'll get him! Hold on! Stop it! Nothing you can do. There has been no report on the condition of Johnson so far. We'll try and have it for you just as soon as possible. All right, the track is clear. There's the green, and we're back to racing. Well, with the crash of Johnson, there's Dom into the pit. This only leaves two cars running for the Lunchford team, Eddie Sands and Tommy Callahan. On the third turn to the three, the 23 car in a long slide. Tommy Callahan driving the Dodge, number 12, still driving a great race. Right up to now, we've watched him very close all through this race. And only twice have we noticed him weaving around on the track. Here it is again, this time a little more so, but still in very good condition. So at the halfway mark, and still 250 miles to go, it's been a crash mark race. Here's the standing. Boyer still leads by four and one half seconds. This is over the second place, Tommy Callahan driving the Dodge, number 12. It's been tough on the Lunsford crew. Still only two left running. Over in the back straight away. The number 12 car slowing down. This could be a pit stop for Callahan. Here he comes into the pits. Here's where races are won or lost. It's the most valuable thing a driver can have. It's a good and fast... Tommy, what happened? Very nice saw it. I saw the accident. My brother. It was my fault, Fran. I was the one who drove the go-kart that killed him. Oh, Tommy. Time out for hand-holding. Yeah, he's always a winner, isn't he? He doesn't have to be, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, why should he be? If you get boxed in, don't try to fight your way out. Stay in there. All right, come on, come on, come on. Back on the track with 325 miles completed. Boyer is slowing down for his pit stop. Here they come out of the pits right together. Callahan in car number 12. Sands in 43. Jack Boyer heading in for the pits. This puts Tommy Callahan into the lead with Eddie Sands in second place and running hard. It looks like he's after Callahan. A lot of action going on in the back of the pits. What, is he crazy? I told him the whole second. Hey, here it is. Eddie Sands has taken the lead from car number 12, Tommy Callahan. Look out and turn number three. Car number 71, clear up on the wall. Sliding along, hooks to the rail. Wood splitters flying as he drops back onto the track and stalls in the middle. Here comes Sands. He's in trouble. Up into the wall. Over, onto the track and into the infield. I told him to do that. And what a day. We've had crashes all over the track and still 26 cars running. We've had long pit stops, short pit stops, and out of it all, more than half of the cars still running. Dodge and Plymouth have been the front runners all during the day. With Chevrolet. Come on, Tom. Come on. Well, as we come down to the last two laps of this race, the pace has been terrific. The Lunsford team losing three cars. The Harris team losing two cars. Come on, Tommy. Come on. You're in there. Number three. Here comes Callahan. And there's the checkered flag. Oh, Tommy. Oh. oh. Oh, what are you sorry for? I wasn't ready. It's all my fault. You'll be all right, Eddie. They'll fix you up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be ready next time. We'll see. Do you want me to go to the hospital with you? I'd like that. That's it, race fans, a great day of racing. You've seen the greatest, both with cars and drivers. Turning into victory lane, Tommy Callahan, the winner. And here comes Johnny Reb, carrying the traditional victory flag. And here is Tommy Callahan, the winner of the Southern 500. Good 
Right. 